Do you want to get hired in the cloud but not too sure which role to aim for? Cloud computing jobs are among the fastest growing careers in tech. But with so many options, I know how tough it can be to figure out where to start. I personally began my journey in the cloud as a solutions architect at AWS, where I helped customers design cloud solutions tailored towards their business needs. But that's just one of the many roles out there. Depending on your own skills, interests, and career goals, there are several paths you can take. In this video, I'm going to break down five of the most in demand cloud roles for the next year so that you can decide for yourself which one to invest your time in. I'll be covering what each role involves, the day to day responsibilities, the skills needed, the salary, as well as how to figure out if this role is right for you. Plus, I'll walk through each of these roles in the order of the cloud adoption journey so that you can see how each one fits into the bigger picture. With that being said, hi, I'm Lucy, and over the past few years, I've helped hundreds of job seekers build their technical skills and transition into the cloud industry. Before we begin, I'd like to quickly mention that I have an online course called AWS Interview Mastery, Get Hired in the Cloud, where I share my insider tips and strategies on how to ace your cloud interviews. It covers everything from how to best answer technical questions, how to perfect your resume, and includes mock interview examples from Amazon employees. The course is packed with advice I wish I knew earlier and what I've seen worked well for my mentees who have successfully landed jobs in the cloud. I'll put a link to it in the description below and you can use the code YouTube10 for 10% off. All right, let's get into it. The first cloud computing role I wanted to talk about today is the sales development representative, otherwise known as SDR. SDRs are at the start of the cloud adoption journey, meaning that they're usually the first point of contact for customers. They play a key role in identifying potential customer opportunities and qualifying these leads through calls, emails, and other forms of communication. In this role, you'll be responsible for understanding the customer's needs and effectively communicating how your company's cloud solutions can help address them. Ultimately, the goal is to generate more money for your company. When it comes to the day-to-day -day responsibilities, SDRs focus on building and managing a pipeline of potential customers. This involves researching and identifying new leads, connecting with them, and pitching the company's cloud products. For example, if a customer is interested in moving their storage to the cloud, an SDR working at AWS will gather information about their current storage solution and explain how a service like Amazon S3 could offer major benefits. To become an SDR, the most important skill is communication. You'll need to be great with people and have the ability to build strong relationships with customers. And while it's not a technical role, having a solid understanding of cloud services can really help you stand out. Because of that, many SDRs in companies like AWS AWS and Azure have their AWS Cloud Practitioner or Azure Fundamentals certifications. The median salary for this role in the US is around $160,000 according to levels.fyi and I'll leave a link down below for you to check out the salary of other companies and other locations. High performing SDRs may also earn higher bonuses depending on how much revenue they're able to generate for their company. Now how do you tell if this role is right for you? Well if you enjoy connecting with people, have good communication skills and are motivated by results, the SDR job could be a great fit. The role also doesn't need you to be too technical, so it's also a good option for those of you who want to work in tech but don't want to get too involved in the coding. All right, once the SDR has identified potential opportunities, the next phase of the customer adoption journey involves designing cloud solutions. And this is where solutions architects come in. Solutions architects are responsible for coming up with solutions in the cloud that are tailored towards the specific needs of a customer. At AWS, they are often seen as the technical advisor for customers as they go through the journey of using the cloud. On a day-to-day -day basis, solutions architects work closely with customers to understand their technical requirements and business goals. They then translate these needs into effective cloud solutions and ensure that the proposed architecture is scalable, secure, and cost-effective. This process often involves creating architectural diagrams, conducting technical walkthroughs, and showcasing specific cloud services through a demo. I'm obviously a bit biased when I say that the solutions architect role is one of the best cloud jobs out there, but personally, I found it to be the perfect starting point. The role gave me exposure to over 200 plus AWS services, which really helped me develop my cloud skills very fast. My communication skills also improved because every week I was working with different customers from different industries and backgrounds. What's also great about the Solutions Arctic role is that you don't necessarily need many years of experience to apply. Nowadays, companies like AWS offer Associate Solutions Arctic positions where they'll provide you with the training required to succeed in the role. For example, I was part of the AWS TechQ program and I went through six months of training before I joined my team. The skills required to become an associate solutions architect can be split up into technical and non-technical. For the technical side, you'll need to have an understanding
understanding of IT fundamentals. So networking, compute, databases, storage, and security. It also helps to have a solid understanding of the cloud and have some hands-on experience working with cloud technologies. And for the soft skills, companies look for people who are great communicators and problem solvers. They want to hire those who can work effectively with customers and are able to explain technical concepts in a way that's easy to understand. The average salary for an associate solutions architect in AWS in the US, according to levels.fyi, is $162,000. And again, I'll leave a link down below for you to check out the salaries of other companies and other locations. If you're someone who enjoys solving problems, working directly with customers and designing technical solutions, then the solutions architect role could be a great fit for you. By the way, I want to point out that different companies have different naming conventions when it comes to jobs in the cloud. For example, a solutions architect at AWS is referred to as a customer engineer at Google. And so before applying to any role, always check the job description to understand what it actually involves. All right, once the solutions are designed, the next step is to implement them. And that's where cloud architects come in. To put it simply, cloud architects are responsible for taking the plans designed by solutions architects and bring them to life. This is a very hands-on role where you'll be coding and configuring applications to meet the needs of a client. So a typical day could involve managing cloud services, setting up virtual networks, and optimizing cloud storage solutions. Cloud architects also work closely with the development and operations teams to integrate applications and troubleshoot any errors that come up. As I've mentioned, different companies have different naming. So if you're interested in this role, also look out for jobs with the title cloud developer or cloud consultant. The skills required to become a cloud architect are pretty similar to a solutions architect because both roles are very customer facing. However, cloud architects would typically have to have stronger programming skills as well as a deeper knowledge of the IT fundamentals discussed earlier. The average salary of a cloud architect in the US is around $201,000 according to Glassdoor. So how do you know if the cloud architect role is right for you? If you think you'll enjoy bringing technical designs to life and like the idea of working closely with clients, this could be the role for you. Okay, one once the cloud architecture is in place, the next step is to ensure everything runs smoothly and to address any technical issues that come up along the way. That's where the cloud support engineer comes in. Cloud support engineers are the ones that keep cloud environments running smoothly after they've been implemented. They're the go-to experts when customers face technical issues and their goal is to help them resolve those problems quickly and efficiently. I have a video on my channel where I interviewed Elisa, a cloud support engineer, and she does a really good job at explaining the role and the skills required. So I won't be diving into the details here, but make sure you check out that video if you're interested in the cloud support engineer role. The average salary for a cloud support engineer in the US is around $153,000 according to Glassdoor. But yeah, if you want to develop your IT skills, enjoy helping others, and like the idea of solving technical problems in a fast-paced environment, I would recommend looking into this role. Now, once the cloud environment is maintained by the cloud support engineer, the next priority is to protect it from threats. And this is where cloud security engineers are needed. Cloud security engineers are responsible for protecting cloud environments from security threats. On a day-to-day -day basis, cloud security engineers design, implement, and maintain protected cloud environments. This involves identifying potential threats, conducting risk assessments, and putting security protocols in place. The skills you need for this role are a strong background in cybersecurity, knowledge of security best practices, and experience with tools like firewalls. Attention to detail is also an essential skill because even the most minor errors can lead to major security breaches. The average salary for a cloud security engineer in the US is around $205,000 and as always I recommend searching on websites like Glassdoor and Levels.fyi to find out the salary range in your country. If you're someone interested in cybersecurity, enjoy identifying and mitigating risk and have a strong attention to detail, this role could be well suited for you. Okay now for a bit of fun, if you're still not sure which cloud role is best for you, AWS actually has as a cloud career quiz that can help you figure it out. I wouldn't take it too seriously because it's only a two minute quiz, but it could be interesting to see which role they recommend. All right, this brings us to the end of this video. Let me know in the comments below which role is your favorite. And if you end up taking the quiz, also comment below your result. Thanks for watching and I recommend checking out this video next. All right, bye for now.